Over the decades, society's views on romance and sexuality have gradually changed, thanks in part to artists and musicians who have provided an empathetic window into the lives of those who may be different from us. So it's only fitting that many artists, actors, and musicians are among those who have publicly benefited from increased societal understanding and tolerance by feeling more free to express their true selves. For many, though, it has been a struggle, one that has hurt some of the people these stars cared about the most. Here's a look at the tragedy and triumph of these male celebs who left their women for men. Ricky Martin Singer Ricky Martin came out by releasing a statement on his website in 2010, writing, I am proud to say that I am a fortunate homosexual man. I am very blessed to be who I am. It was a shock to some of his female fans, but not to his longtime girlfriend, Mexican TV host, Rebecca de Alba. Martin referenced their nine-year relationship, telling Vulture, I had this woman who was amazing. Unfortunately, we don't talk anymore, but she was amazing, and she was powerful, and she knew about me. She knew I was gay, but we were together. After dating both women and men through the 90s and early 2000s, Martin met the love of his life, Swedish artist Juan Joseph, in 2016, marrying a year later in a secret ceremony. Alan Cumming Scottish actor Alan Cumming spoke of his bisexuality in a 2003 interview with The Guardian, revealing that he almost married a second woman after divorcing his first wife, British actress Hilary Lyon, in 93. After a period of what The Guardian described as, quote, a wholeheartedly hedonistic lifestyle, Cumming settled down with graphic artist Grant Schaefer, whom he married in 2007, according to People. Years later, Cumming further clarified himself, telling Instinct magazine, I still define myself as a bisexual, even though I have chosen to be with Grant. I'm sexually attracted to the female form, even though I am with a man, and I just feel that bisexuals have a bad rap." Freddie Mercury For as flamboyant as legendary Queen frontman Freddie Mercury was on stage, he was just as secretive about his private life. The singer didn't even reveal his AIDS diagnosis to the public until the day before he died of complications from the illness. And he was even more private about his love life. Mercury did have a well-known lifelong companion in Mary Austin, the woman he dated for six years before ending the relationship by coming out to her as bisexual. According to OK Magazine, Austin moved out but remained very close to Mercury, caring for him until his passing in 1991. Authors Matt Richards and Mark Langthorne wrote in their biography Somebody to Love that when Mercury told Austin he was bisexual, she replied, No, Freddie, you're gay. The authors also maintain that Mercury referred to Austin as the love of his life even after he moved on to a long-term relationship with another man. Clive Davis While he's perhaps one of the celebs who's more open about his private life, in his 2013 memoir, The Soundtrack of My Life, Clive Davis described his sexual awakening. While married to his second wife, Janet Adelberg, Davis had a drunken intimate encounter with a man, writing, was I nervous? Absolutely. Did the heavens open up? No, but it was satisfying. After that, he separated from Adelberg and pursued relationships with both men and women. Davis has been in two long-term relationships with men since 1990, neither of whom he has ever publicly named. Elton John Elton John came out as bisexual in a Rolling Stone interview in 1976. And while it was regarded as a groundbreaking moment for LGBTQ acceptance, John later mused that his sexuality was not exactly a secret. Eight years after the Rolling Stone reveal, John raised all kinds of eyebrows when he married German sound engineer Renata Bloll, then divorced her four years later. According to Hello, John never publicly addressed the marriage until a 2017 Instagram post in which he revealed that it failed because, as he says, I denied who I really was. John then met David Furnish in 1993, and the two entered into a civil partnership in London in 2005, according to The Guardian. Nine years later, for their anniversary, they finally got married in the United States.